Let's begin with a quick pace tour of main.vi. This is the heart of the Machine Vision app LabVIEW template project. Everything is contained inside the overall while loop structure. On the far left side, you have initialization and startup activities. The case structure implements the behavior in each state. And in this in-between area, we pull the front panel controls, dequeue the states, and then paste the while loop. Let's take a look at the case structure in a little bit more detail. Here are all of the subdiagrams, and each subdiagram is one state. The scheduler state is responsible for responding to conditions and scheduling groups of states called tasks. These are fed to the NQ states VI. Now, as you rapidly scroll through the states, you see that they are grouped. You have the QSM or queued state machine states, the image related states, the MyRio states, and then a number of expansion states. And we're back to the scheduler state. Here's how we ultimately shut down the machine. In one state, this is the QSM shutdown state, this Boolean constant goes to true, breaks us out of the while loop, and then we pass through the simple air handler and the VI shuts down at that point. Now let's consider the actual mechanism of the queued state machine in more detail. Here I have an array of two states. The selector uses either of these two conditions to pick the top array or the top task as it's called. One of those is when the front panel button save image is pressed. The other is when this so-called data highway flag is true. If we look back here in my Rio update ports, we read the onboard button, set that Boolean value on the data highway, and then either one of those conditions going true activates this select node to pick that task of two states. These two states are then enqueued or placed onto our state queue. On the next pass through the while loop, the dequeue state will then pull off these states one at a time. The first one would be save image. You would invoke this subdiagram, execute everything that you see on the subdiagram, and then the second state that was enqueued was QSM release. This invoke node reinitializes the front panel control, effectively bringing it from a clicked down state into an unclicked state. Because the NQ states VI always appends QSM schedule to the end of your task, you are always brought back to the scheduler to consider the current state of front panel controls and other conditions. If none of those evaluates true, then we do the default task. In this way, we can have an ongoing activity of fetching an image, analyzing it, placing an image overlay, showing the image, and then updating the MyRio ports. Most, if not all, of these image-related states and the MyRio update port state will be used in every machine vision application that you develop. Let's begin with image get. Here we have the Vision Acquisition Express VI that fetches the image from the webcam. Here we have Vision Assistant Express VI that runs the vision script. Here's an example of a non-destructive overlay that can be created and placed over the main image display. And this state updates the main image display indicator on the front panel. All right, let's finish up by understanding the notion of the data highway. This is implemented by the shift register construct on the main while loop. All of the values contained in this cluster are passed to the next iteration of the while loop. Those can also be initialized right here, but in any event, they are available to every sub diagram. That is, they're available to every state. This is an example of a state that modifies a lane or value in the data highway. This is an example of a state that simply does a pass through with no change whatsoever. And here's an example where a value or lane is read from the data highway. And finally, here's an example where the only activity is writing a new value to that lane.